the loneliness Before I knew what it was after an interesting few weeks, the Panthers returned to the familiar expanses of Flinders University Stadium for a date with a struggling West Adelaide outfit. With the scores all square at the final break, South supporters were nervous at the prospect of a third draw. However, Michael Knoll was outstanding in the ruck and Abe Davis's four second half goals proved to be the difference in the end, which saw the Panthers take the points. 50 of everyone's heads at the back. I don't know if that was touched. It's rolled through. I don't think that's rolled through from Rose's kick and hands. After the state game bye, which saw three players in Joey Haynes, Matt Rose and Michael Knoll don the tri-colours, along with senior coach Jared Wright, who was named as an assistant, the Panthers made the trek to prospect to face the reigning premiers for the first time since last year's elimination final. However, it was a different result which saw South take the much-needed points. Debutant Cam McGree kicked his first goal six minutes into the second quarter. Joel Cross looked fresh off the bye, along with his partner in crime, Nick Little. Again, over the top to Carpenter. Put down your glasses. This should be a goal. Coming through Emery, breaks through the tackle, runs to the top of the square and kicks truly. A second to Emery and the Panthers extend their lead from outside 50. Over in the box seat at the back, couldn't take it. Should get oh. boot to ball, does get boot to the ball. The Panthers would once again be dealt a tough hand with new recruit Michael Knoll joining Hayden McLean at Sydney after being picked up via the controversial mid-season draft. We're going with Michael Knoll from the South Adelaide Footy Club. Over the coming weeks, the boys had another bye, followed by a tough day at Oval Avenue against an Eagles outfit who was starting to find some form. Another two debutants were named as Luke Bogle and former Crow James Lonergan lined up for their first games in the blue and white. The Queen's birthday holiday Monday saw a cracking game of football as the Panthers celebrated 120 years since the 1899 Premiership. After a seesawing affair, it was the Legs who ultimately got home by just two points. Does well, Crab, the big man, off the non-preferred left, inside 50, overall was he being held, one-on-one -on -one Giorgio, questionable handball, gets it up to McKenzie, cross off the ground, cross off the ground, you beauty! In the last game before yet another bye, the Roaring Tigers headed south in a highly anticipated match. It was a fiercely contested battle that saw the Bays get out early thanks to an inaccurate start from the Panthers. Cross, Carpenter and Little were all busy around the contest, but this match will be best remembered for a Leo Barry U star moment by Joey Haynes, who took an incredible mark to seal the points over the top place Tigers. South Adelaide talent pathway product Ben Heaslip also played his 50th game. He's got to bang it back in. He does. Here's McBean. Leaps for it. Oh, what, what a, a grab. Mark. What a grab. <laughs> that is a match-saving mark from Joey Haynes. Ball comes down. There's the siren. There's the siren.